Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Perfect Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP. This is our part 5. Inside this video session guys, we will continue about create data via APIs. So if I back to our code editor, now inside this, in the last video session actually we had completed about a student.php. Inside that, we had created a class. Inside this class, we have declared some protected variables as well as we have defined as well as constructor. And inside this, the most important method that actually we have done about create data. Now this create data basically inserts data inside our database table. So in the last video, we had discussed about each and everything of class in detail. Now inside this video, inside this file called create.php from v1 folder, we are going to do some coding here. Inside this file, firstly we need to include about database.php and student.php. Now by including these two files, actually we are going to insert some data inside our database table. Let's say inside this file, about PHP code and we are going to firstly include let's say include database.php file so here I am going to use called include this is one of the PHP function so include once and we are going to include from the current directory means v1 we have to go back one folder back so this is double dot slash and we have to go inside config folder so this is config and inside here we have called database.php so if I cut this here and paste inside double quotes or inside single quotes so successfully guys we have included about database.php file inside this create.php file this is one folder back and after one folder back from v1 we have to go inside config and here is the file now in the same way we have to include our classes so let's say classes and inside these classes we have a file called student.php so here we are including let's say include this is something student.php now this is all about inclusion of database and inclusion of student.php now we are going to create our object so let's say create this is for let's say create object for database so for that let's say that db equal to and inside this database.php if i open this file go at the top and this is the class we had defined so copy this class go to the file and pasting it here so here we have created an object of this class database now from this class, by the help of this created object, we are going to call a method something called connect because this connect method basically connect with our database. So back to create.php and let's say that connection equal to let's say db and we have a method called called connect. This connect basically gives us the connection variable inside this created variable. Now in the same way, we are going to declare our object. So let's say create object for let's say a student now here we are going to make let's say a student equal to new student now this is the class actually this class we had defined inside this student.php so here we had defined now inside this construct function as we have inside the last video actually we have to pass a connection object so if I back to file now this is the connection object so if I copy and passed inside this construct function all we have done now we have successfully initialized about this connection variable as well as the table name because this is the connection object what we are getting right here and this is actually returning from this connect method. So let's say that by the help of this student object, we are going to access about the properties that we have defined inside this class like name, email and the mobile number and we will assign some value from this file. So let's say that firstly, we are going to check that this actually file will be accessed only for the post request. So let's say here this is a php global variable server inside this we are going to use called the request method 
and if the request method equal to post it means that we are going to submit our data with the help of post request type so let's say submit it should be submit data and else let's say that echo something access denied because this file is no longer basically accessed by using called get request put patch and the delete request type now inside this post block actually we are going to inslice the variables what we have defined inside this class so let's say this is the object so by the help of object let's say name and for checking we are going to assign some static values for now so let's say it should be Sanjay this is the static name and with the help of our email address we are going to specify some dummy email address so sanjayatgmail.com and with the help of this student object we have an also mobile number of that student so copy this variable back to that file and let's say that this should be student mobile and we are going to specify some dummy number so this is something here now we have actually inslized all these three variables now finally we are going to call our create data method so what we have defined right here so back to create.php and one more thing that this method basically returns about the true or false value as we can see that inside this file this method after executing if successfully executed our query so it will return true or any of the error actually it got it will fire about the false value so in the footer point actually we are returning a boolean value so let's say if student object and the method that we have defined if we go at the top copy this method name back to the file and create data now finally calling this method it will insert these data to our database table again if you back to student.php now this is the table name and inside this table name it is going to insert some data these are the placeholders something for the mobile email as well as for the name value and these are the variables basically used to insert data and these variables we have successfully inslized right here so let's say that echo something student has been created or inside else block let's say echo failed to insert data so if we save all these changes so it should be insert so if we save all these changes back to browser and remember this file basically called with the post method only we are going to insert some data inside our table by using post method by accessing through get method put patch delete it will not going to work so back to browser open up a new tab and go to apps and remember we have downloaded postman to check our apis now if we click on the postman icon so now it will actually open about the postman testing api's tool so if we click on these windows now this is our interface so close this window and close this window now here we have to pass the specify about the url to access our created app api and here we have to select about the request type so inside our case we are going to access via post request and now let's say that about the folder so if I copy this rest API PHP copy this name back to the browser and let's say localhost after localhost this is the URL so if I press enter go to our v1 folder and this is all about create.php and as we can see that while hitting this url to the browser basically it generated about the gate method and by taking gate method this file basically fires that access denied because it will work on the post request type so if i copy this url back to postman and pasting it here if we want to increase some font size of this editor postman editor go to settings tab and inside these settings click on settings and here is the font size option so let's say 20 and if I press ok 
So after making settings that I didn't think that the font size has been increased, so don't worry at all. This is the URL section. Actually here, we have pasted about the URL to access about create.php file and this is request method type. So let's say that I am going to hit this URL using get method. Click on send and access denied. Again if we click on the put, send access denied. So let's try post this time. So by selecting post request method type, if I back to code editor, now this section will work. It will inslice these variables and while calling this create data method, the student has been created. So back to our postman, click on send button. So now as we can see that a student has been created, back to our database table and reload this page or open up TPL students. Now inside this table, as we can see that one row has been created. Again back to code editor and let's say that instead of Sanjay, let's say Ashish and here I'm going to change about the name and this is something mobile number, save all these changes, back again to postman, click on send and the student has been created. Back to browser, reload this TPL students table and one more row also has been created. But we are just creating a student by putting our dummy value inside this file. Inside the next video, just we will inslice about the name, email and the mobile number using postman body section. Now inside this, we will pass our parameters and by getting those parameters, we are also we have to put some headers inside our create.php and by taking our form data, actually we have to save all the data to our database table. So these are the things guys actually we will cover inside the next video. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.